Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Miss Sensational Gaming Channel. My name is Brittany, and in today's video, I'm going to give you my top five games that is on Steam right now that I wanted to get, but could not afford it. So technically, this is going to be my top five uh, games that I wanted to buy, but could not afford it due to reasons. So before we get started, I want you to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And turn on these notifications so you won't miss a single upload. And with that in mind, let's get started at number 5. So at number 5, I wanted to get this one because I got the first game. It's called Paper Bride to Zhengling Village. Now this game was released on May 5th, 2022, which was released this year. And basically, it says this is the sequel to our Paper Doll, no, not Paper Doll, what am I talking about? Paper Bride series, based on Chinese folklore. This story takes place in Zhengling Village, where players must explore a village shrouded in occult mystery to uncover the secret origins of this haunted village. And it's a very positive, uh, it has very positive views. It's a puzzle, horror, drama, thriller game. And it's in 2D, but it also says RPG, which I don't get. This game will cost you $9.99, which is $10. Which is not a bad price if I could be able to have $10. But regardless of all that, this is tops off at number 5. Now, I want to apologize for the stumbling upon words. Sometimes I get tongue twisted, other times I could be a little bit nervous. But coming in at number four is Emerald City Confidential, which is a game that I actually played a long time ago. It is technically a point and click adventure game. And it states that work with, um, work with the world's most cunning detective in the shadowy, un underbelly of the Emerald City of Oz. As Petra, you'll be lured deep into mysteries involving new foes and familiar faces, Scarecrow, Lion, and Toto included. This is Oz as you've never seen it before. Solve your detective's quest and unravel something that I cannot see what it says here. But it has very positive views, and it was originally published by Play First, which is the creators that made Diner Dash and Wedding Dash and so forth. This is a game that I wanted to get because I played it before, but once again, just like the, the game called Paper Bride 2, it's going to cost you $9.99, which is $10. Like I said, it's not a bad price if I had $10. So that's number four. All right, so let's check out what's at number three. Now, I would go with the Nancy Drew series, technically because even though I play some of them, but not all of them, especially due to the fact that it costs a bit of money and stuff. I usually have a physical pocket. What am I talking about? I'm trying to say I usually have a physical copy, but I gave it away for reasons that I cannot explain. It was only a matter of time before I decided to give it away due to the fact that I really and legitimately want to get, get rid of a lot of stuff because I have too much of it. Uh, but sometimes I can't get rid of all of it because some has precious memories while others I still need it at this day. But regardless of that factor, um, that's technically what happens. Now, what I was trying to say is that I would make Nancy Drew... Uh, the series itself in number three, but I am going to choose Knocked True Tales of Robin Hood. And the reason why is because I saw a video of this and it looks pretty, pretty interesting. And this is like a choose your own adventure choice matter RPG, RPG game. This game was released on July 17, 2019. And it says you are Robin Hood, forge your destiny and fight to liberate nothing nothing ham uh in this epic story driven rpg blending interactive fiction 
which is also another genre, uh, resource management and base building set within a lush, lushy, lushly, I can't even pronounce this word, illustrated Sherwood Forest. If we take a look at the screenshots, um, it's uh, pretty different. It has the silhouettes of certain characters, it has the reading situation, and you have to make certain decisions and stuff. And this game is going to cost you $19.99, which is like 20 bucks. And I have to say, that's something that I really want. Well, not really, really want that badly, but when whenever I wanted something that pleased my interests, I really wanted to get this game, but unfortunately, as you can tell, I could not afford it. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, this game was released on August 12, 2009. I don't know if that's exactly the year where this game was released, but I'm assuming it's been released on Steam for quite a long time. So I really wanted to get this game, and I think it's also available on Big Fish Games. So either way, I really wanted to get this game due to the fact that I love The Wizard of Oz and all that kind of stuff. Any game that has something to do with it is going to be the game that I want. But of course, I think this uh, point-and-click adventure game called Emerald City Confidentials is the one that I want, even though I have played it before. But I really want to get it again. I really want to get this game again because I, I really love it. That's all I have to say. Anyways, uh, let's move on to number two, if I can figure, figure out what it is. This one has number three. Now I will choose this one, but I'm, I'm kind of too tempted to get it because from what I heard, it's a horror game that features cards and it's not even Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I am very tempted. I am very tempted. Number two, it's going to be one of these two games, either Bear, Bear and Breakfast, which I saw in one of the uh, videos, or it's going to be Unpacked, which I did play a demo of this. And it is a very, very lovely game. You know what? I think for number two, I'm going to choose Unpacked because it is a puzzle game, and it's very, very... I don't know how to explain it. It's very cute, pixelated, and relaxing. And it's also an indie uh, story-rich game. Unpacking is a zen puzzle game about the familiar experience of pulling possessions out of boxes and fitting them into a new home. Part block fitting puzzles. No, puzzle. Part home decoration. You are invited to create a satisfying uh, living space while learning clues about the life you're unpacking. This is the game that I really want in a full game, but it's going to cost you $19.99, which is $20. And this is the game that I really want because I played the demo of this. And, and right now, I just really and genuinely wanted to get this game just because it is one of these games that helps me to relax. But at the same time, it could be stressful due to the fact you're trying to figure out which goes which. But regardless of that, this is the, the game that I really, really want. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before we get to our number one uh, games that I wanted to buy but could not afford, here are some honorable mentions. So our honorable mentions, excuse me, will be Nancy Drew Garcia. Res resorting to Danger, which is technically the second game of the Nancy Drew Dossier series, and for some reason they cancel it. Uh, other Nancy Drew games such as Secrets Can Kill Remastered. Um, let's see, what else? What else? Uh, and I want to go with Pool of Panic. I'm not certain, but... And I also want to go with uh, The Witch's Tea Party. That's another honorable mention. Uh, the final scene for Nancy Drew, Message in a Haunted Mansion, which I usually have the physical copy. Um, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Let's see, what else? 
probably Princess Maker Go Go Princess. <laughs> um, uh, Hotel Mag Magnate, which is cost a whopping twenty four ninety nine, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, there's just no way I'm going to buy that. Probably because it's way too expensive. I wonder if the reason is because the graphics. I don't know. Uh, the ten ten tenant. The tenants, I, that's how you pronounce it. Um, let's see. What else is the audible mention that I want to get? I will probably get the Mrs. Holmes series, such as the Monster of the Bakersville Collector's Edition. Um, there's also Baron Breakfast. That's another honorable mention. And let's see. I don't know how long am I going to be searching this. I will not tell you which one of these games is going to be number one. And maybe, maybe Cult of the Lamp, um, Five Orange Peeps, which is a Mrs. Holmes game, um, Crystal Cave uh, HD, which is like a classic, um, Alyssa, let's see, what else? There are other games that hasn't been released yet, but I add them to my wish list just because, just in case if they manage to release it, I get to see how much it costs, whether or not to, whether or not if it's free to play, or simply, um, I would go with Amazing American Circus. That's probably going to be an honorable mention. Um, Cozy Grove, yeah. Let's see, what else? Let's see, what else? Um, a Tale of Anna, or Anna, whichever you want to pronounce it. Uh, let's Build a Zoo. That's another honorable mention. Let's see, what else? What else is there? Pride and Prejudice, Blood Ties. Let's see. Maybe this one, which is uh, Ultimate Summer Camp. It's supposed to be an adventure board game, RPG game. Okay, what else? Voodoo Detective. Another honorable mention. There's a lot of honorable mentions, and we haven't gotten to number one yet. But we're getting there. It's just... It's just I wanted to do this... Um, I want to show you this in the right way, I think. Let's see, what else, what else that is an honorable mention? That one's at number five. Keep on scrolling until we cannot scroll anymore. This one is coming soon. I'm, I'm excited about that. I think I'm going to get back of playing uh, Paper Bride, the, the first one. Uh, then we have this one, Find All Three Travel. Which doesn't cost much, but i rather save it in case if I need to get a game uh, that I really want. Uh, there's also Cozy Time, um, Escape the Endless uh, Dog Watch, and that's technically it. Alright, so are you ready to see which game do I really, and I do mean really want to buy the most, but could not afford? You've probably already seen a new game that's already out, and I think you know what it is. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Another honorable mention is Cinderella Phenomenon uh, Evermore. I played the first one, which is free to play, and I wanted to get this one, which doesn't cost much, but I, I, I wish I had $10, but I don't. But regardless of that, enough with the rambling. It is time to figure out what game is at number one that I wanted to buy the most, but could not afford? 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here is the number one game that I wanted to buy the most, but could not afford. This is one of these games that is FMV, but it also has a choose your own adventure slash hidden object game, which is quite interesting. Um, this is called Immortality. So was this game in the belt? Was this game about? Well, Melissa uh, Marcel was a film star. She made three movies. She made three movies. And in case you're wondering which movies is it, well, there is a video trailer to play. Uh, these are the movies that she made. Even though their name may, they may not be legitimate real movies. But we're just going to have to wait and see. This is the creator, Sam Barlow. Barlow, excuse me. This is the person who made her story, which I might get to um, a playthrough of it. Because every time when I attempt to stream it, there's always something like um, an error and so forth. Who knows? But regardless of that, um, it has positive views, and it's already released this year. So that's the game that I really want. But let's get back to what it says. Mar Marissa Marcel was a film star. She made three movies, which is these three. But none of the movies were ever released, and Marissa Marcel disappeared. An interactive trilogy from Sam Barlow, created, creator of her story. And that's technically it. Now, this game is going to cost you uh, $17.99, which is like 18 bucks. But the original price is going to be $19.99 uh, once this offer ends in September. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that is the number one game that I wanted to get but could not afford it. And those are my top five lists, ladies and gentlemen. Also, a reminder, this game is way too mature for, let's just say, people who are underage and stuff. So, just to, to warn you guys, this has some themes that contains a little bit of bloodshed and, of course, a little bit of, of adult themes. And that's just a reminder, in, just in case if you're wondering what this game contains. So, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I would like to apologize for stumbling and all. Sometimes I get nervous, sometimes I get excited, other times I get tongue twisted. So, I want to thank you all for watching this top 5 video. This is technically my top 5 uh, video of games that I wanted to buy but could not afford it. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and turn on these notifications so you won't see a single upload, and I'll see you all in the next video. And until then, make sure you stay safe, also stay healthy, be kind to others, and have a wonderful day.